All right, great to be joined by Eagles star wide receiver Devontae Smith. And you are here on behalf of Toyota, the official vehicle partner of the NFL. What more can you tell us about that partnership? Yeah, man, they have the uh, Super Bowl experience, have a game um, that you can play to get familiar with the new 24 Tacoma that they're coming oh. out with. If anybody wants to get me one of those, I'll take it. I need a bigger car these days. I need, a, I need a truck. I got two young kids, man. All of a sudden, my car, my back of my car is full everywhere. So that, that's a truck for you. We can see if we can make something happen. Uh, obviously, playing in this game last season. Obviously, you want to be back this year. But as you sort of, if you were to give advice to players on either roster that are doing this for the for the first time, and obviously San Francisco has more of those than from than Kansas City because they played last year. What would your advice be about managing sort of everything that goes on during the week of the Super Bowl? Um, block out the noise, man. You know, it's a lot of media things going on. Um, it's a lot more of that than football going on at this time. So, yeah. man, just block out the noise. Know what you're there for. Uh, if you look at this matchup, obviously uh, you've seen both of these teams a lot in the past couple of years. You played Kansas City earlier on this year. You guys got them in Kansas City. How does this team look different now compared to when you guys faced them on Monday Night Football back in November? Um, you know, it, it, that defense is playing amazing, man. That, that defense is playing great. Um, you know, can never count out Patrick Mahomes and Coach Reed. Um, you know, offensively, you know, they're, they're going to be them. You know, they're going to have the, the – the right call at the right time. They're going to put their guys in great situations to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. So, um, yeah. And how about San Francisco? Like defensively, what are some of the challenges that Patrick Mahomes and his teammates face going up against the San Francisco defense that obviously you know well as well? Flying to the ball, man. All, all 11 will get to the football. Um, they're going to generate turnovers. And um, it's going to come down to winning your one-on-one -on -one matchup. The Super Bowl is a long, long day. It feels like forever. How is it different? Like, what is, like, if anything changes in the preparation front? Because it's not just that the game kicks off at an odd time, but you got this long pregame, you got this long halftime, having been through it now once. What would, you, what would your advice be to some of these players that are doing it for the first time? How do you manage the emotions and pace the day? Um, I would say just do what you normally do. You just have to kind of extend it a little bit. Um, don't go off schedule. Don't try to do some other things because you have more time. All right, so uh, you guys, obviously, this season, you start off red hot disappointing end of the season. What's sort of like the feeling, the motivation, what's the message for the offseason to kind of get things back to where they were for the first 11 weeks this year? Uh, man, just go back to playing clean football. Uh, you know, we, early in the year we got away with a lot of turnovers and things, and, you know, it came back to bite us. Um, so, you know, just go back to playing clean football. You know, always had that faith in ourselves and in our teammates. Have you had a chance to talk to Kellen Moore yet, your new offensive coordinator? Uh, yeah, he, he called me. Is there anything like get you particularly excited about playing for an offense under him? Um, it was more so, you know, just getting to know each other more than anything. Uh, I think that's the first thing, you know, you have to get to know each other. Maybe watch some Keenan Allen tape from this yeah. past year. That'll get you excited, right? All those yeah. catches he had this past season. Uh, as far as the game is concerned on Sunday, do you have a prediction of who takes home the Lombardi Trophy? It really don't matter to me who, who okay. wins. Okay. That seems to be a common theme. Which team has more Bama boys might be the tiebreaker right there. I don't think nobody. I don't think neither one of them had anybody from Bama. Man, it's actually, you know what? They might be the only two teams in the entire NFL that don't have, like, five-star yeah. players from Alabama. Yeah. we got to change that in the draft. Have you been paying much attention to the Alabama guys that are coming out this upcoming year? Uh, yeah, man. A lot of those guys are um, great guys, great players. And uh, I'll ask you about Bama. It's a new era right now with Nick Saban no longer the coach. He's about to be one of my teammates now here at ESPN. Uh, what do you expect for this program now under Kalen DeBoer going forward? Um, I think, you know, it's still going to be Bama at the end of the day. I, I don't think that's going to go nowhere. And uh, if you know Coach Saban, he's going to be around somewhere. He's going to be at ESPN now, one of my colleagues. What do you think about Coach Saban on TV? Uh, I, think, I think it's good for him. I think that's something that, you know, he's going to be very good at. Um, I think that's something that he's going to enjoy. I've been asking you for uh, advice for the players on Sunday. You got any advice for me on how to handle Coach Saban? Like, if I do something wrong for the first time, how do I handle Coach Saban? Give me the Saban business. Uh, I don't think it would be too bad, man. <laughs> at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all love, you know. Uh, he makes little slick jokes. Yeah. Uh, you might want to laugh at him every now and then. Everyone, I'll give him a courtesy laugh <laughs> yeah, just in yeah, case, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we don't have a prediction for the game. Can't, I don't have a strong feel, but is there an MVP? Like, who do you think is holding that individual trophy on Sunday evening? Maybe an X-Factor instead. 
I think it's going to be one of the quarterbacks. One of the quarterbacks. When in doubt, it's almost always. Yeah, it's always the quarterback most of the time. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be that way. Well, Devontae Smith, uh, Eagle star receiver, a big offseason for you and the entire franchise these next few months here. Good luck with everything, and hopefully we'll see you guys down in New Orleans playing in this game again next year. Appreciate it. Thank you.